Passing on traditions, holidays, and family values is an important part of raising a family. So here with resources and lots of ideas to help your children with Veterans Day observances, we have Dr. Ashley Stevens and Megan Luke here from Cabell County Schools. Great to see you all. Thank nice you for having us. Yes, this is a very important time. So what are some tips? What are some ways we can explain Veterans Day to our children? So we have to keep their developmental level um, in mind when we're having okay. these conversations. The way you would talk to a kindergartner versus a senior in high school will be very right. different. And think about what fits in with the way you talk about the world anyway. Uh -huh. Do they have any family members who are in the military? If so, that's a great starting off point to have this conversation about, mm -hmm. you know, our, our friends and family that do this, this is the kind of person that we would be honoring during Veterans Day, you know, when they're finished serving. And so, judging and basing it based on what they already know and, and that exposure is really important. Once they get to upper elementary, they're studying these types of right. things um, in class and so you can lean on, you know, when you've studied September 11th or when you've studied right. uh, American history uh, and our older kids can, you know, teach us a lot about it, you yes, know, because they're true. steeped in it more than we are right mm -hmm. now. So just think about kind of where your kid is and, and what their exposure is to military involvement, to, you know, world powers and sort of how uh -huh. the whole world works together uh, and that will help guide your conversation. That's a great idea. Now, one local hero I think all of our students have heard about and talked about in school, uh, Woody Williams getting a special honor this year too. Absolutely. They are celebrating his life with a documentary on PBS oh. and we are so excited. It is going to be on the actual Veterans Day. We celebrate on uh -huh. the on the Friday in schools, but it will be on Saturday night at 8 p.m. and it's on West Virginia Public Broadcasting and also their YouTube channel and it just talks about his life and legacy and service and it is a wonderful way to learn about it as we're learning about someone that we're already so attached to oh, yes. um, to get the broader scope of what it means to be a veteran and how we can honor them. Well, I know one thing that's very visual, a way to honor our veterans. Megan, talk to us about the Wreaths Across America program. Right. Wreaths Across America is a great program. It's been around since 1992 uh -huh. and um, around here though, it it hasn't been around that long. Right. My husband and I took over in um, for the Woody Williams year about four years ago, 19, you know, ish, mm -hmm. and the, it's a program where we like to have wreaths placed on all the mm -hmm. veterans' graves. We sponsor Spring Hill mm -hmm. Cemetery, and there are almost 6,000 veterans buried there, and we try to get one wreath for every veteran. We're a little below our goal right now. We mm -hmm. have less than 100, so we really need people to sponsor those wreaths. But um, the, the goal, the mission of Wreaths Across America is to honor those that have passed, mm -hmm. uh, sir, those who are serving currently. Right. We're going to honor them as well and then teach children and the next generations mm -hmm. um, how to do so as well. It's very moving to see that display out there as well as flags. So if someone would like to sponsor a wreath or help out with this, what's the best way to even get started with it? Yeah, Wreaths Across Huntington uh -huh. has a Facebook page, so you can go there. Okay. Uh, my husband is the JRTC aerospace instructor, okay. um, lead instructor at Cabell Midland. And then I have a sweet spot for Huntington High. <laughs> and so the Macy's are over there and they have a little bit of a competition going. Uh -huh. So each JRTC is doing a fundraising group. And so you can go to either of their pages as well, but you can get there from our um, Facebook page and we're gonna see who wins. Oh, that's fun. Yes. Uh, that's, that's, and again, it's such a beautiful sight to see. So um, talk again about if families want to get involved, maybe do something special for active military this Veterans Day. Any resources or things that you like to remind everyone? Absolutely. So there is the Military Holiday Card Challenge and it is oh. Military holiday card challenge.com <laughs> yes and so you send it and it will obviously be used you know at the holidays but right now is a perfect time mm -hmm. to get in on that so if you have crafty types or you know uh, kids who love to draw pictures or, or make things um, our older kids can even write letters about you know mm -hmm. why they're grateful but this is a wonderful way to get them to our active military and and to honor you know all of our servicemen and women in a different yeah. sort of way this veterans day it is and what great um, ideas you all have given us regardless of the age you know the real little ones in school all the way up to the high schoolers there. So, Megan and Dr. Stevens, thanks so much for stopping by and, and reminding us ways to say thank you to our veterans. Absolutely. Thank, thank you for having us. us.